remembering the tragically dramatic real life of a soap star on the anniversary of his death. Don't get me wrong. Dennis Cole was an excellent performer who brought life to any role. To replace John McCook as the essential character of young and restless playboy Lance Prentice, he needed to be a charisma generator. Later bold and beautiful patriarch Eric Forrester. The first reunion photo from The Young and the Restless will make you feel all the feels, and then some. The actor was a staple of primetime from the 1960s through the 1980s, appearing in shows as diverse as Three's Company and The Love Boat. However, nowadays he is more likely to be remembered for his controversial past than for his acting abilities. He was the one they called when they needed a good-looking guy who could act. He began dating series star Jacqueline Smith in 1976, and they eventually got married 19 months later. Nowadays that's the same as if he'd said, I do to Scarlett Johansson. When it happened, it was a big thing, but it didn't last. The kid Cole had with his first wife was murdered in 1991 outside the home he shared with Black Flag and Rollins band frontman Henry Rollins. As a result of what happened, Cole became into a peace campaigner who regularly gave TV speeches against violence. Cole's latter career highlights include the first national tour of the musical Victor Slash Victoria, in which he portrayed King Marchin. But once again, a veil of doom surrounded him. His injury was so severe that full recovery took years. After starting his own real estate agency in Fort Lauderdale with his third wife, Cole, and she separated in 2008, but on this melancholy occasion, let us not dwell on the sorrows that seemed to follow Cole, and instead recall the joy he brought to the screen.